question I get asked loads is how do I sharpen a pastel pencil? You don't want to use a pencil sharpener. Um, it might seem like the easiest method, but to get a beautifully fine and long point like this one here, a pencil sharpener won't help you. Also, pastel pencils are very brittle and pencil sharpeners do tend to cause a lot of breakages. Um, so it can be really frustrating. That said, I tend to break quite a few pencils when I'm sharpening them like this anyway, but it is a much better way to get your pastel ready to draw with. So the materials that you're going to need, and do excuse this incredible mess, you'll need a craft knife. Make sure that it's nice and sharp and obviously do not hand it to children. These are very sharp and you'll very easily cut your fingers on them. And you will need some P120 sanding paper. So if you are doing this with kids, the sanding is something they could um, happily get involved with. And you'll also want um, some sort of vessel to catch your sharpenings in and some kitchen towel or an old rag to wipe your pencils off. So what you want to do is hold the pencil in one hand and with the thumb of the hand holding the pencil, this is the bit that confuses everyone, so it's the thumb of the hand holding the pencil that is important here. You want to take that and you want to press it into the flat of the blade. Please press it into the flat of the blade, make sure it's the flat part. And then you can use that thumb to guide your blade through the wood. So what you're thinking about is pushing the blade the length of the pencil instead of digging it in. If you dig it in, you're gonna break the pastel. Now, don't worry if you do break the pencils. Um, it happens to me all the time, but overall, this is the best way to sharpen your pencils and the best way to use them as well. It's quite an academic um, way of using a pencil. It's quite accurate and really, really nice to draw with. Um, I get much better results. So I just show that for you again. This is a different brand of pencil. Um, this is probably the, the worst one to demonstrate on. Um, this brand and, and specifically this color is very brittle. So it probably won't take as much off this, but you can see I do take a fair amount of the wood down. They so say we're looking for that sort of academic pencil. I'm amazed that hasn't broken. It'll probably break when I come to sand it. I'm just gonna reduce the amount of bulk of the wood here. That will just allow me to get it a bit closer to the um, sanding paper. Okay, so once you have all of your pencils that you want um, nicely sanded, let's just take this one. Um, so you can see there's a really good amount of pastel out there. Take your sanding paper and make sure there's no um, bits of uh, shavings or anything on there or underneath your paper because bumping over things with the pastel it will probably break it and they're very brittle as it is so hold the pencil really flat to the table um, you're almost thinking about trying to get the wood in contact with the sanding paper don't put too much pressure through because you will break your pencil um, and just start to sand it backwards and forwards while twisting your pencil nice and gently the more pastel that you have in contact the slimmer finer your point is going to be the longer it will last so that's why I like to have the pencil as flat to the table as possible. So once you've got a nice point, you just want to wipe it off on some kitchen towel because there's a lot of dust on the uh, pastel pencil. And once you go and start working with that, it's going to be dumped onto your painting, um, which is really annoying. So do make sure that you just wipe your pencils off as you go. And one beautifully sharp pencil. So only, only a few more to go. If you'd like to find out more about full length online tutorials, such as the tutorial that these pencils have been sharpened for, you can head to my Gumroad account and it is Emily Rose Fine Art. There is lots of different videos on there uh, from beginner to intermediate to advanced. We've got all sorts of different animals and projects to get you going. There's plenty to keep you busy and you'll get feedback from me as well once a week. So you can send in your questions, works in progress, finished pieces and pieces that don't relate to the courses I do as well. Providing it's pastel pencil, I will give you some feedback and help with those. So I hope to see you over there soon.